Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Ranita and I love getting into makeup and lifestyle on this channel. Today I want to get into Mist Haven, which is a brand new palette by Alter Ego. Now Alter Ego is one of my favorite brands simply because they have an amazing eyeshadow base and their eyeshadows are also amazing. You may have noticed that a lot of their palettes are actually dupes of more expensive palettes, particularly Natasha Denona. So if you've ever like wanted to get a better version or a cheaper version you can go and check out shop alter ego and uh, i do have a code with them it's ranita so you can get 10 percent off it's a non-affiliate code so today we're going to be focusing on mist haven i thought that it would be really fun if we could create like a look with this and see how that's going to be so let's jump right into it i'm going in with my alter ego eyeshadow base which kind of looks like this it doesn't really work as well if it fully dries up so I like to work fairly quickly and I like it to be kind of wet and uh, that's how I get the best results with my eyeshadows so I'm just going to quickly tap this in and uh, before it dries up I want to go in with my eyeshadow color so you can see how that looks like it has a very slight tint to it but it's not super obvious or anything like that because I do want to go in I think with the shade secrets and cluster which is right over there so I'm gonna see how this looks. So this is the color Merc on my eyes. As you probably know, I love going in with my deeper tones at the ends. And I do like the quality of Alter Ego's eyeshadows as well. They're really nice. So if you've never tried them, I do recommend giving them a shot. They have smaller eyeshadow pens, but honestly, I don't feel like that's a bad thing because I've seen how much eyeshadow I actually use and you know it's I never really hit pan like I have never hit pan because I have so much stuff so if this is a smaller you know thing and it's a bit cheaper I really don't mind so you can see how well this looks you can see how well this shows up on my eyes blending really nicely sticking onto that base really well too so if you've ever had like oily lids like me and you've needed something to just you know assist your eyes i really recommend this because i just feel like this is one of the best things that i've ever used now i'm going to go in i think with the color thistle which is right above muck it's that one right over there and uh, i'm going to put that in the inner corners like right here before we go in with these shimmers and i'm going to do two shimmers for this look so this is perfect for, I think, just any everyday look. I think I may actually wear some of this to work because it just makes sense to me. A lot of my alter ego palettes are the ones that I reach for like before I'm going into the office because I feel like they're just so subtle and nice. The color stories are fairly easy. You don't have to think too hard about what you're going to be putting onto your face. Now I'm going to be getting in with Cluster and Secrets. So I'm going to go in with one more base coat of the alter ego eyeshadow base. So just give me a minute. This is what Cluster looks like. You can see it's a really pretty metallic shade and I'm going to go and I'm going to put it right over here. In the inner corners kind of has a little bit of a pink thing going on i see pink sparkles and i'm gonna go in um further with a brush i don't want to go in too much because i always mess it up but i do like having very bright inner corners so that's why i thought okay let's go in with cluster so this is it it's very sparkly as you can see just going in with another coat over there and I think that should do. So this is looking really, really good. So even though it's got those pinks, it's kind of coming off like a, as a beige on me. Now I'm going to go in with the shade Secrets. Now Secrets was this really fascinating color. I kind of felt like it was this, yeah, it looked like a purple to me in some lighting. So I guess that's what it is. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to add that right over here. And this is a very, very smooth kind of formula. It's just, it's very, very fascinating. I like the formula though. It's very, very appropriate, I think, for everyday wear. It's not too much, not too little, just perfect. So, yeah, I can see that purple coming through there again. And it just feels like it's blending in so beautifully with the color Merc. 
so i think that that is going to be the overall look now i do want to kind of go underneath my eyes a little bit and kind of just touch up the look so i'm going to do that and then i'll be right back and we'll finish up the look together i'm now going to take the color nutmeg over there and we're going to just line my eyes a little bit now bear in mind that nutmeg is a brown so it may look a little bit different from the color muck because murk has more of that pink tone to it so it's more of a mauve so this is the lining of my eyes with that shade i think it looks perfect i kind of really enjoy adding brown to my eyes sometimes a little bit more than black because i feel like it softens the under eye liner have got a bit of glitter fallout on this side but I will go and clean that up in a bit so yeah you can see that and I think that looks perfect that looks really really good all right so now that I've kind of done my eyes I'm only going to go in next with some mascara so I'll get into that but I thought I could just do a little bit for my face so I thought we could go in with the moon shroom palette I got this in my ipsy box this month and I didn't really use it that much so I kind of wanted to do it today um, I'm gonna go in with the color sprinkle which is the deepest shade over there so I'm just gonna add a little bit over here and see what that looks like it's kind of like a bronze and i'm wondering should i have actually taken a bit less i didn't expect it to look like that and i'm going to do the same thing on this side like this is really really bright by the way so if you have not tried this before be prepared you know so you can kind of see what that looks like and what this side's looking like too. And um, I also want to do some foundation and I kind of did go in with an initial coat but I'm going to go in with this because the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation is incredible. I recently had the chance to use it. Now this is the shade Spiced Sand. It is um, shade 4N2. Yeah, I was not expecting this to be as good as it is but I tried it out and I honestly feel like this is probably the best shade foundation match that I've ever had in my life. Um, it just goes beautifully into the skin for me and it just makes sense in every way. So I'm really, really impressed with this and I don't use a lot of it so it's probably gonna stay for a while with me but I still thought it was really, really um, cool that a shade was actually matching me this well and you know I've worn it a couple of times now already to work and it's, it's really been doing its job so I'm pretty happy with that. And I am going to kind of go over the highlighter I think with a wee bit of blusher. Right so this is the shade 60. I can't remember the name but this is the Armani blusher um, range and I really do love this range. It's one of my favorites and it really makes your skin look amazing so i thought okay let me just add a little bit of blush oil to my face this is my finished look very simple very easy to create and i just want to run through all the makeup details and then you know we can say bye but i was really happy with the way the palette performed i wasn't surprised because i've used alter ego so many times that you know now it, whenever i get a palette from them i'm just like yeah i know it's going to be awesome i know it's going to work just fine and i've been using these quite a bit every time you know i go to work because i like the fact that they're neutrals and it just makes sense i don't really like wearing color in my profession when i go to work so I, you know these palettes are just perfect if you're looking for that kind of thing and it's going to last all day especially if you're using their amazing eyeshadow base absolutely love that base now let me just give you the details so for my lip gloss i went in with this bare minerals lip gloss it's in the shade enlightenment and i have a code with them put i'll put that on the screen so that you can grab a discount that's an affiliate code i also went in with a eyeliner by kulfi so this is um what color cheeky chiku it's a brown and i actually had put it over there as you can see but i kind of felt that it wasn't standing out as much as i wanted to with this look so what i did was i actually took the color void which is a black over here and then i took a sharp 
brush and I just went over the eyeliner that I had done with the Kulfi liner and I kind of got it into this soft black shade which I kind of like. I feel like it's working pretty well so yeah that's basically that. And um, for my blush as I mentioned I'd gone in with shade 60. I'm not sure which shade this is like they all have different names but I threw away the boxes so I no longer know but uh, basically this is shade 60 by Armani Beauty so if you go and search for it you should be able to find that one and um I've also gone in with a mascara, so that would be this one over here by Benefit Bad Girl Waterproof Mascara. It's a pretty good one, lasts all day as well for me, so no complaints over there. And I think that that's about it. I, you already know that I went in with my Estee Lauder foundation and everything, and I can't really think of any other makeup details at the moment, so yeah, that's basically that. I'm just looking at my face, and I think that this looks really nice. I'm very, very happy with the way that all of this is looking. So if you wanted to pick your own Mist Haven, up I say go ahead and do so it looks like a really fun palette it's a lovely addition you know if you don't have a nude palette I'm honestly just like I used to use Juvia's place for my nudes and after trying out all of these Alter Ego palettes I've kind of just switched over to them because I really like the quality so thank you to Alter Ego for sending this over it was so much fun to play with this so anyway thank you so much for joining me as I got to try out Mist Haven I hope that you're looking forward to Halloween and I will see you soon for another video lots of love to you bye bye